Charles II, the scandalous party king. Charles was born on 29th of May, 1630, son and heir of Charles I and Queen Henrietta Maria of France. In 1648, during the Second English Civil War, Charles moved to The Hague, where his sister Mary was married to Prince William, the Prince of Orange. On January 30th, 1649, their father, Charles I, was beheaded and England officially became a republic under the rule of Oliver Cromwell. In early February that year, the Covenanter Parliament of Scotland proclaimed Charles II King of Great Britain, France and Ireland, but refused to allow him to enter the country unless he accepted the imposition of the Presbyterianism throughout Eng Britain and Ireland. Charles was reluctant to accept, and when the negotiations became stale, he threatened the Scots with invasion. After one of his loyal men, General Montrose, was captured and executed, Charles reluctantly agreed to authorize the Presbyterian Church governance across Britain. Charles arrived in Scotland on 23rd of June, 1650, and was provided with a court. He was crowned King of Scotland on January 1st, 1651, at Scone Abbey. After a failed invasion attempt by Charles, he fled to France in disguise and lived a life of leisure near Paris. Two years later, in 1653, Oliver Cromwell was named Lord Protector of England, Scotland and Ireland, placing Britain, Britain officially under military rule. When Cromwell died in 1658, Charles's chances of restoration seemed slim and improbable. Cromwell was then succeeded by his son, Richard, making England the only Republican monarchy. However, Richard was anything but competent, and he resigned in the following year. After almost 20 years, a general election was held, and the new parliament decided to restore the Stuart dynasty. On 14th of May, 1660, Charles was proclaimed king in Dublin. He would arrive in London on 29th of May on his 30th birthday. Negotiations with Portugal regarding Charles' marriage to Catherine of Braganza began during her father's reign. On the 23rd of June, 1661, the marriage treaty was finally signed. Catherine arrived early May 1658, but Charles neglected, neglected to visit his young bride for at least six days. Two ceremonies were held, one very private Catholic one and another following an Anglican public one. Catherine grew up in a convent, was a devout Catholic and was not fluent in English, making her hardly the queen and wife Charles would have chosen. To add insult to injury, Catherine was not able to give the king an heir, but she fell pregnant and miscarried at least three times. Although she was not popular, the king insisted that she was treated with the utmost respect and often sided with her over his mistresses. Throughout his reign, Charles never inter entertained talk of divorcing his wife. But Charles was never faithful, and he had 15 illegitimate children by several ladies. One of the first was Lucy Wat Walters, that he had met while staying with his sister, the Princess of Orange. This relationship gave his mother great anxiety, because she feared that he would marry a commoner with a bad reputation. Lucy gave him a son, James Croft, later Duke of Monmouth, and she would later argue that the pair of them were secretly married. Charles had several mistresses in France and England, including Mistress Knight, Mistress Weaver, Moll Davis and Barbara Palmer, the Countess of Castlemaine and Duchess of Cleveland, who would later serve as the Queen's Lady of the Bedchamber. Barbara was also known as, as a royal mistress and gave the King five children. Barbara also had many lovers herself, who she rewarded generously, mostly with Charles's money. She was widely hated, and rumor has it she even castrated John Ellis, one of his one of her lovers. 
Her favor and influence with the king declined, and she was replaced by Nell Gwyn, who rose from humble beginnings to theater stardom and later became one of the longtime royal favorites. But it was Nell's rival, Louise de Queroy, who stole the king's heart. She was brought from the French court and openly took part in English politics, trying to influence the king, um, having in mind French interests. The king, on the king's deathbed, these were the two women that he spoke of. Charles was known as the Merry Monarch because he flaunted his lovers publicly and dignified his legitimate children, something unique for Brit British kings. In early February 1685, Charles fell ill, probably having had a stroke or as a result of chronic kidney disease. He died on February 6, having been secretly received in the, into the Catholic Church. Charles was then followed by his younger brother, James VII and II, the first Catholic king since Mary, Mary Tudor.